So a debate about why people find parallelisms between the Celtic tradition and the Eastern tradition. An older theory that we might sort of call the fit in ancient times type of thinking would have seen that Eastern people came directly to the Celtic world. The Celtic world was a place somehow trodden by people who had selectively come out of the East and had brought with them traditions which explain why there are sometimes very obvious parallelisms between East and West. I don't think that was how things worked really at all, except we do have these odd bits of material, for example from Tintagel in Cornwall, the most extraordinary discoveries since the 1930s, of vast numbers of anthropy of uh, wine jars that have come, and also oil jars, that have come from eastern centres, possibly connected with the Byzantine uh, influence in the West during the 6th century, that these have come directly by sea uh, to Tintagel. And this map here gives you just an idea of how this has happened. We have a period when eastern trade to the western Mediterranean is very strong, and for some reason, possibly commercial, possibly political, ships have gone out through the Straits of Gibraltar and have ended up in the southwest of Britain. But we don't want to seize on this and say, there we have a sort of deus ex machina, a sort of you know, explanation, a magical explanation almost, that says why some ideas have come from the east to the west. What it tells me is that this is a much more connected world than we often imagine. That we have patristic parallels between the Greek and the Latin tradition. We find some of some Greek traditions paralleled in material in Irish and not in Latin. And probably it's because there once was a continuous tradition that has fallen away in the middle. But we can learn a lot by comparing. We don't want to imagine the relationship is highly selective. But certainly I've often said to people, if you want to understand a lot of aspects of early insular theology, you need to read the whole Mediterranean, not just the Western, because there's a lot of things you'll find in common. But equally, we can also see that uh, many of our ideas of Christian uh, sanctity, of the concept of the, like, the fatherhood of the Western Church in Britain, is also tied up with Roman ideas, Roman imagery. Here we have monuments from the West of Britain, here from Wales, a roadside can commemorating what is clearly an early Christian figure in the region by the side of a road, just as you would find, for example, outside the city of Rome, or in any other context like that, where you have an extramural cemetery, the burial of the saints or of the early founders outside the, the walls along the side of roadways. So there are both Western and Eastern ideas of commemoration you know, lying around in this place. But you will read sometimes about the Celtic tradition that the Celtic tradition was sort of different, and some people come, try to come up with very wild and wonderful theories about it, that really, in a way, people in the Celtic tradition didn't really have saints like everybody else has saints. The really saints were just churchmen who got turned into the patrons of churches. There is these conflicting models about how special the Celtic tradition is, sometimes underpinned by different sectarian perspectives. So just to disabuse you of any problems here, this is the end of the life of St. Columba of Iona. This is the island of Iona, where he lived out the last part of his life, the most beautiful place. And we hear, of course, that this was the end of our praiseworthy patron's life and the beginning of his rewards in the language of the scriptures. He is added to the fathers as a partaker in eternal triumphs. He is joined with the apostles and the prophets. He is enrolled in the number of thousands of white-robed saints. In other words, the saints in the Celtic world are saints as we would all recognise them. They are people who live a life that's both earthly and powerful in supernatural terms. They are figures whose sanctity is an important part of the fabric of the whole community's, if you like, narrative 